From space, Earth shines like a jewel. It's a vibrant blue oasis in the vast darkness of the cosmos. This captivating color comes from the abundance of water on its surface. Water covers over 70% of our planet's surface, creating a mesmerizing blue hue. It's essential for all life as we know it, providing the foundation for ecosystems. Yet the amount of water readily available to us is surprisingly small, highlighting a critical issue. We often call Earth the Blue Planet. It's a fitting name given its vast water resources. The oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. This water is salt water, not suitable for drinking. We can't drink it directly, making freshwater sources incredibly valuable. Freshwater, the kind we need for survival, makes up a much smaller percentage, emphasizing its preciousness. The sheer volume of water in our oceans is incredible, almost beyond comprehension. It's estimated to be about 321 million cubic miles, a staggering amount. Imagine a cube of water that stretches from New York City to Los Angeles in all directions, reaching up into the sky. That's a lot of water. It's hard to even visualize such an immense volume. However, this vastness is deceiving. Despite the abundance, it's not easily accessible for drinking. We can't just desalinate all the ocean water to solve our freshwater needs. Desalination is energy intensive and expensive, requiring significant resources and infrastructure. It's a viable option in some regions, especially those with limited freshwater sources, but not a global solution for everyone. Where then do we find freshwater? It's a question that leads us to some of the most remote and fascinating places on Earth. A significant portion of our planet's freshwater is locked away, hidden from our immediate reach. About 68% of Earth's freshwater is frozen, encapsulated in ice. It exists in glaciers and ice caps, forming majestic and ancient ice formations. These massive ice formations are mostly found in polar regions and high mountain ranges, where temperatures remain frigid year-round. Another large portion, around 30%, is underground, hidden beneath our feet. This groundwater resides in aquifers, which are crucial for our water supply. Aquifers are layers of rock and soil that hold water like a giant sponge, slowly releasing it over time. Accessing groundwater often requires drilling wells, a process that taps into these hidden reserves to provide water for agriculture, industry, and personal use. This brings us to surface water. This category includes the water we see in lakes, rivers, and reservoirs. It accounts for a mere 1.2% of all fresh water on Earth. That's a tiny fraction of the total water on our planet. Yet, surface water is crucial. It's the primary source of water for most human needs. We rely on it for drinking, agriculture, industry, and more. Section 5. Clean Water, a Scarce Resource However, not all surface water is readily available or safe for consumption. Pollution from human activities contaminates many freshwater sources. Industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage all take a toll. Climate change also exacerbates the problem. Changes in precipitation patterns lead to more frequent droughts in some areas and floods in others. Both extremes disrupt access to clean water. Section 6, A Thirsty World, The Water Crisis. The result of these factors is a global water crisis. Billions of people around the world lack access to safe and reliable water sources. The World Health Organization estimates that over 2 billion people live in water-stressed countries. Water scarcity has devastating consequences. It affects human health, food security, economic development, and political stability. It's a complex issue with far-reaching implications. Section 7. Quenching the Thirst, Conservation, and Innovation Addressing the water crisis demands a multi-pronged approach. We must prioritize conservation efforts. This includes reducing water waste in our homes, industries, and agricultural practices. Furthermore, we need innovative solutions. This encompasses developing better water treatment technologies, exploring alternative sources like rainwater harvesting, and implementing sustainable water management practices. Section 8. Our Legacy, A Water-Secure Future Water is life. It's a finite resource that we must cherish and protect. Ensuring a water-secure future requires a collective effort. We need governments, communities, and individuals to work together. By understanding the challenges and embracing solutions, we can create a world where everyone has access to clean and safe water. 
Let's make every drop count. Our future depends on it.